Welcome to the 20th Montgomery Summit. You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh. Joining me now is Roger Primo. He's General Manager of Corporate Strategy and Ventures at IBM. Roger, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Great to be back. There's been a little bit of a stall in the market and you know, with all the uncertainty, are you still seeing that growth in the technological sector? So for IBM, we're a business to business technology company. So I think if you look at the B2C side, there's really been a slowdown because there's a lot of consumers at the end of the day that are dealing with this economic downturn and there's less money to spend. On the enterprise sector or the B2B sector, you see the opposite effect. You see companies facing uncertainty, the financial crisis, potentially a recession, geopolitics, so many things going on. And they're investing in technology as the solution to that challenge. So on the B2B side, we continue to see a lot of activity and we continue to see a lot of growth. One of the solutions that a lot of companies are embracing is the new generative AI and the chat GPT. How is IBM incorporating that? So first of all, I'll say that we've been working on uh, generative AI or uh, you know, foundation models for a number of years now. We put the first foundation model in the product two years ago in 2021. And so you'll see us continue and inject foundation models to extend products that we're already in. So if it's in security, if it's in IT operations, if it's in customer care, if it's in process automation, you'll continue to see us put more and more foundation models, just to extend the value proposition of products that already had some form of AI in them already. Additionally, we've talked about how IBM is a hybrid cloud and AI company. It's all premised on our acquisition of Red Hat and open source technologies. That same technology stack is where those foundation models are both trained and then the inference to actually run them for, for at the enterprises on top of that same stack as well. So you'll see us building the tool set and stack to help companies adopt those foundation models to put them to work in their business. That's good to hear. Now, IBM also has committed to some sort of sustainability goals. Um, can you tell me where you are with that? Absolutely. So I'd say two things. Um, first of all, we have a net zero goal by 2030. So we, we've made our commitment like many other companies on how we build our path to net zero. But we're also working with customers on how they build theirs. So we acquired a company at the beginning of last year called Invisi, and we were, like many tech companies, had our belief we'd just use our tech to track carbon. Turns out it's really hard. Really hard. And so uh, Invisi came from Australia where there are early regulations that kind of forced them to be leaders in how they track sustainability data. So Invisi is really kind of think of it as the data platform to be able to track and calculate your carbon in a way that you'll be able to report it and not have to have some of the, the backtrack moments that a number of companies have made where they have to restate their carbon credit. So I think uh, you know you see us both living our net zero goal, using Invisi as our platform to do that, but also working with a number of customers. And I'll just say, today we announced a partnership with Ernst & Young EY on, on inv embedding Invisi and how they do a lot of the work you know, of audit and, and sustainability compliance with their customers. So you've seen that platform being embedded in a lot of domains like accounting where all of a sudden sustainability is really exciting because it's going from financial accounting to sustainability accounting and things like being an accountant become exciting again enabled by a platform like this.